Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, daily chart, and we talked yesterday about how we ended the year on Friday with a test of the daily mid-band. They gapped it up yesterday, and really, you know, the bulls never looked back. Uh, we printed marginal new highs in the overnight at 2698.75, and we're seeing a couple few handle give back from there. Uh, the 2698 area continues to be you know, kind of a resistance zone. Uh, we've dealt with it. You can see it here on the hourly chart. Here is today. We dealt with it last week. Here, here. So you've got a lot of resistance, potentially, at 2698. Uh, whether the bears can turn that into anything meaningful is, you know, it, at this point, it's doubtful. Uh, chances are that we go up to 2700 and through it a little bit are very, very good. Um, we did 2698 down to 2668 and we're back. Um, and we're back in basically less than, you know, two sessions of, uh, of trading. Friday closed to, to, you know, it's Wednesday, but we didn't trade Monday. So we haven't even started the, um, the Wednesday regular session, and we've completely round tripped the move. That tends to put the bears at a significant disadvantage. Um, you see things like the hourly mid band hold. Uh, you can see daily pivot down there at 88. You see weekly pivot way off in the distance. We're now 20 handles up above the weekly pivot. They tried to hold that yesterday, not very well. And once we got above the daily and weekly pivots, they ran the bears over for the majority of the day. The morning was pretty choppy. The uh, afternoon provided some compression on the Bollinger Bands, and uh, after what had been a bumpy morning for me, we, we ended up getting uh, we ended up getting uh, long 91. We're long 91 right now. Uh, uh, we took our middle third at 98, and, and we're you know we have an even stop, and I'm content to just kind of let it work from there. And when I say bumpy morning. You know, we, we had a couple of we have a couple of decent you know decent looking short setups. They paid and then stopped us out. The bulls couldn't get it going in the morning though, and waiting for which side was going to get it boring. You know, they're you know that tends to elicit paper cuts, and that's you know that's what the morning was about. Eventually, we got into the move, um, and you know the majority of that stuff was erased. But yesterday was not a, a, a very good trading tape. It, it looked beautiful in the overnight. There was a little bit of give back right off the open, and then it kind of knocked everybody around until you know until three o'clock when you got a little bit more of a directional move up off of that uh, 90 to 91 area. So you know for today you got to watch 2700 up high. You've got to watch the hourly mid band. Um, you've got VWAP at 96 half. Uh, we're below that now. If the bears are going to put anything together today, then then VWAP seals off at 96 half. And we start to head down towards the daily pivot at 2688. Um, do the bears have the ability to convert 88 today? Sure, but it, you know, seeing is believing. I guess is, is what I'm really trying to say. Um, you 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 can be short, but for now, I mean, that's counter trend stuff. It continues to be counter trend stuff because on the longer term time frame, people can talk about, oh, we're going straight up, we're going this. We're not going straight up. That's ridiculous. We're not going straight up. We, we compressed for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sessions. We went down and tested the middle band, and now we're headed back up. So this is not parabolic. It may be parabolic in your mind, but it's not parabolic on the chart. You worked a lot of that froth off, all this from up here. You worked all that off here. You reloaded here, and now... Unless the, bear just, unless the bears really do something about it, you're going to see a push up towards the, uh, the upper Bollinger Band there in the 2720 area. And it's entirely up to the bears whether or not that occurs. They have to fight back. If they do, there will be lower highs to short and there will be risk. But if you are shorting every high that you see because you think that this is ridiculous and we've gone up this many handles and there's this many months in a row that are green, then you are going to be the squeeze. Don't be the squeeze. Don't be the squeeze. Make the bears prove themselves. 
Uh, there are short opportunities. There was a short opportunity on Friday. It was a great short. And, I, and I'm very, very glad that I dumped it down in the low 70s before I went home uh, and called it a year Friday night. Because all the Bears did was fall right on their face. So there'll be opportunities for the Bears. They have an opportunity right now. They didn't convert 98. They stopped again. But until you start to deal with daily pivot at 88, you deal with a nine-day simple there at 85, 81 here, the blue line, until you start to convert these things meaningfully, um, shorts are counter-trend, they're trades, and uh, buying the dips is going to continue to pay. All right, everybody have a good one. I'll be out with a wrap-up later. Trade them well. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook. And join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.